welcome back to Try This at Home. Today we're going to do an experiment about imploding soda cans. And here's what you're going to need. You're going to need some water, a soda can, some tongs, and a bowl of ice water. You'll also need an oven with a stove top or a hot plate. For this experiment, what, what you will need to do is you're going to take your soda can and you're going to add water to the soda can. You don't really need to add much water to the soda can. Go ahead and pour that in there for me, Henry. You just want to fill it up, I would say, um, just a little bit, maybe a fourth of a cup of water. Okay, that's perfect. And then we're just going to take this and we're going to place it onto the stove top. Now the most dangerous part for you is going to be the stove top. So for this experiment, you probably do need an adult with you to supervise. You're going to turn the burner on and you're going to wait until the water is boiling inside the can. You can see the can that I had on here earlier and then the one I just put on here. You can see that this one is steaming so it's ready. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to take the soda can and I'm going to turn it upside down in the cold water. And I'm going to put the cold water on this side so you can see it a little bit better. When I turn the soda can upside down in the cold water, we want it to implode. It implodes when it crushes on the inside. And what will happen is when you do this, we're hoping to see, right now there is, the can is filled with water, and as the water is boiling, it's turning to a steam. When I place it back in the cold water, it'll change and it'll go back to a liquid, so there'll be more air pressure on the outside of the can than on the inside of the can, and that will make it implode. Here's the part you need to be really careful when flipping it over so that you don't burn yourself. Here we go. And there you have it. There's your imploding soda can. Good luck and have fun doing this at home.